What's up? Standing in the middle of the new USA record, 1.35 kilometers. What's going on, everybody? I'm here with Emily and Kristen. We are rigging USA's longest high line to date. And I'm going to teach you guys how to do the clothesline method today. We've got a couple of things already set up. Here we have our tagline, which is as normal. You get a tagline across the gap, you connect it to the end of your webbing, you pull the tagline, and you pull the webbing. Nothing changes there. Here's where there's a bit of a change. If we walk about 10 meters to the right of where our slack line will sit, we have this other line. So you see it's connected here via carabiner. Goes through this kootenai and goes straight out that way. This is our clothesline. This is a four millimeter piece of Dyneema. It's really, really long. We tensioned it to about one and a half kilonewtons here, which means that this bolt is seeing about two kilonewtons, two and a half, give or take. I'm gonna explain just verbally how this works and then I'm gonna go ahead and actually show you. So what we're going to do, starting at the beginning of the webbing, every and then every 100 meters after that, we're going to connect essentially what is a an improvised quick draw from the webbing to the clothesline. And as we send webbing out on this clothesline, all the weight sits on it, makes it a lot easier on both sides, makes it easier for the static side because they're hauling less weight, makes it easier for us because we are holding all of this weight. So there are only three of us here. And anyway, with that said, we're gonna set up the webbing and when it's going out a little bit, I'll demonstrate exactly what I'm talking about. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so we've released now 300 meters of webbing. The ladies are holding it. Uh, it's on our clothesline out there. Uh, every 100 meters we have a connection. Can you guys show me one of you just holding it? Just to show how easy it is? Who wants to do it? One person, one hand, 300 meters. All right, everyone can help her now. <laughs> so I'm gonna just quickly demonstrate how we do this. So we release webbing on our tagline as usual. We've got these Dyneema extenders here. Simply girth hitch these around our enov splits like so then we take a small carabiner clip it to the other side of that so now we've got this thing girth hitch to the enov split carabiner here you guys can release some more they're releasing i'm gonna walk this over and then i'm simply going to clip it to our clothesline just like that and now that thing will take a lot of the weight and we're good. And I'll come back to this video when we've got like a kilometer out just to see how difficult it is to hold that much webbing. We're now a kilometer in. We have the slack line held on the line grip here. And honestly, it's been super chill. We've been not struggling at all. We've been connecting it every 100 meters. So yeah, clothesline's the move. We use uh, three millimeter Dyneema to attach the slack line to the four millimeter Dyneema, which is the clothesline. And we've been using just regular five millimeter polyester diamond braid rope as our pull line. So very simple, but a little bit expensive is the one downside, so. That's it. We're going to keep rigging this line. It's like four kilometers long. And then we'll get back to this video. <laughs> and Kristen has something to tell all of you guys. Uh, <laughs> subscribe and like to this channel. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> but if you guys like this video, if this was helpful, seriously, just hit those buttons down below. It helps Emily eat. <laughs> And it's going to give her the energy to send this line. Hey. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video, guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. Static side just got the webbing. All we need to do now is tension. Max force we saw on our clothesline the entire time was 
2.4 kilonewtons. So we tensioned, we pre-tensioned this to 1.25 kilonewtons and it almost doubled. Wind was very mild. It wasn't too crazy today, but if you're gonna do this method, make sure you have a very, very strong clothesline. We use four millimeter Amsteel, which breaks at, well, has an MBS of 16 kilonewtons. So use something strong. Don't use some cheap polyester crap. Be safe out there.